So, if you did not see on Twitter, someone was trying to make a claim that Square Enix, of all companies, would be working on a Power Rangers multiplayer open world game. And while this would be cool, there was one problem with his tweet. And that would be the picture he used was stolen off of someone who had put this together. So basically this claim was false. However, today I want to talk about this tweet. And I do want to also talk about another rumor that we were supposed to get a Power Rangers open world game. What we what do I think about this? Let's go. <clears throat> Hello Internet and welcome to this week's Andrew Michael podcast. The podcast where we talk about Power Rangers and Super Sentai. This week we are talking about a tweet that went out that kind of went viral on Facebook. People were talking about it. Except for the fact that this tweet was pretty much fake and we'll get to that at that point. And there was also a rumor that we were supposed to get a Power Rangers open world game. Which I thought would be very interesting to talk about. Because I do think that maybe we'll get another Power Rangers game. But I don't know to this extent. I'm not sure that will happen. If you do wind up enjoying this podcast. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Also we now have a brand new member to the channel called Cool Ghost 12 Thank you for joining the channel memberships. If you want to see this podcast one day early, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash andrewmichael2 or go down to the bottom where you will see my name. You'll see a join button that will allow you to join the memberships for as low as $3 a month. You will get this and some other stuff as well. With that being said, let's get into this week's podcast. So... If you did not see earlier today, or I think a couple days ago, there was a guy who was reporting from multiple sources that Square Enix would be working on a Power Rangers online only open world multiplayer game that was going to be exclusive to Xbox. Now, I found that this was a very interesting tweet because at first it's like, what? Square Enix? Xbox that that doesn't sound right to me because if you think about it Square Enix does Japanese titles They've Been dealing with a little bit of Final Fantasy not sure if that's true or not Don't badger me in the comments about that, but think about this Of all companies why Xbox exclusive right like that would be kind of strange if they were to do you know the Xbox exclusive for a Power Rangers title that doesn't really isn't really known as an Xbox exclusive title in itself. And then of course we find out later that this post was pretty much fake. They had debunked this saying, why would Square Enix want to go with Power Rangers, which in their eyes really isn't a popular IP to go with. And although I am a Power Ranger fan, I do have to agree that Power Rangers now just isn't the IP that it was in the mid 90s, right? It's not like Power Rangers is at the height of its popularity like it was back then. So it would be like, well, why would a company well known like Square Enix want to do another game like that? And I saw someone else talk about, you know, they had done a Marvel game where it was pretty much multiplayer only, and it was like, they need to recover from that. Why would they want to take a big risk? With Power Rangers doing that as well. And of course the cherry on top. The guy that made this tweet. He used a picture that someone else had made. And he cropped out the image. Way to be scummy my guy. Like I know I used to do some fake news videos before. But to crop out someone's picture. And to crop out their watermark. And pretend like it's a brand new game. When it's something completely different. It's like really? Like, really? You know, like, what? why? Like, why would you do that? And it's just like, it's just, it's a scummy situation. And the sad thing is people bought into this. It was like, I saw somewhere, I think Deoxy360, by the way, he made a great video about that. Go check out his video about this topic from earlier today as of me recording this. But it's just like, why go all through all of that to put out a fake report about a Power Rangers open world game? Like, why go through all of that just to get tweets? And it's just, it's just a weird situation. And it's just sad because it's like, 
you know, it would be nice to have a Power Rangers game like that, like an open world game. But for Square Enix to make it, I'm not sure if they would be the ones to go for it. And then, of course, being an Xbox exclusive. Like, when you think of Power Rangers, you don't think of it being an Xbox exclusive. You think of it as the TV show. You think of it as, you know, Battle for the Grid. It's on all the platforms. Legacy Wars. It's a mobile game. So it's very wild to me to think that someone would make Power Rangers an Xbox exclusive title. Which I kind of, again, it seems kind of out there. Like, I don't necessarily think that would happen in any of our lifetimes because I don't think it's going to happen. Now, there was a rumor that had gone out where they had talked about a Power Rangers open world game that was going to be developed by somebody. I forget who was going to do it. But there had been a report that there was going to be a Power Rangers online game, kind of like a multiplayer online thing, where it was basically an RPG, where you got to be a Power Ranger, you got to fight villains, you got to do all sorts of these things, but then the whoever was going to make it ultimately dropped it, which, I again, I know I'm a Power Ranger fan, but I think it was the good call to do that, because I do feel as though... Making a huge game like that is a big task. Like, it's not easy to make a video game, ladies and gentlemen. And and let alone going with the brand that I don't even know if it would sell that well. It's kind of one of those things where I wish Power Rangers were more popular. That way people would give it a chance to, you know, succeed in the video game world like that. But again, we have Battle for the Grid, and it plays well from what I've seen. And I've seen plenty of fighting game YouTubers talk about Battle for the Grid. And honestly, if Power Rangers and whoever's making Battle for the Grid, if they are putting in the resources to put in more characters, if they start spreading out who's fighting in it, then Battle for the Grid could be that game that could bring in more people to that IP, right? Because that's the beauty of Power Rangers. Like, used to, it was just a TV show, but they've got a TV show going on, they've got toys going on, they've got merchandise going on, they've got this fighting game going on. So the thing with this Power Rangers is that now it's not a one-trick pony. It's almost like a master of all tricks because it isn't just one avenue, right? Just like with Pokemon. Pokemon had the TV show. It has the video games. It has the trading cards. It has all the other merchandise out there. And that's what helps Pokemon Go is that it's not just a one-trick pony. It is this conglomerate that is this huge, massive IP that Nintendo has absolutely struck and hit the home runs over and over with, right? So, of course, Square Enix would want to maybe do that if that day ever comes. It won't. And Nintendo is making Pokemon Legends Arceus. That's a game people are looking for. And it's an open world game that they're not afraid to take a swing for. Because it's an IP that, no that everyone knows will work. But with Power Rangers... I mean, yes, they were popular in the 90s, right? You had Sentai going on, and it's still going on. But when you think about Power Rangers in 2021, there's a couple of flashes where, yes, it could be popular, but that's the thing. How do you make Power Rangers today popular? And that is they need to double down on who they're trying to target this for. And that's a weird thing with this this video game that would be coming out. It's kind of like the movie from 2017. You would think that with Power Rangers, it would be this huge, big hitter that would knock out a home run. But as we saw with the movie, they barely scraped over enough revenue to get over the budget. So I'm not necessarily sure if this Power Ranger open world game would have succeeded but then, of course, for it to be an Xbox exclusive, that's just a recipe for another disaster by Square Enix. So, I'm not necessarily sure, again, how you would pull off an open world Power Ranger game with the fact that, again, Power Rangers is still around. People still care about it. But the problem is, how well would Hasbro want to trust someone like that to make a game like that? And it would be very interesting. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast. 
let me did you enjoy it let me know down in the comment section down below also again shout out to the patreons and members if you want to see this podcast make sure to like and subscribe until next time i'm Mitch michael and i will see you in the next one go go power rangers also don't fake a tweet just for likes